the MSI GF72VR7RF and GF62VR7RF are fairly similar gaming laptops, but which one should you get? In this video, I'll discuss the differences between them and help you decide which you should pick. The most obvious difference between the two is that the GF72VR is a 17-inch laptop, while the GF62VR is a smaller 15-inch laptop. However, despite the size difference, the laptops are otherwise very similar. Starting with the specs, both have a quad-core Intel 7700HQ CPU with 16GB of DDR4 memory running at 2400MHz. They both also have an M.2 SSD for the operating system, 256 gb for the 17-inch, and 128 gb for the 15-inch. There's also an additional 1TB hard drive for X extra space in both. For the graphics, both have an NVIDIA 1060, which powers the 1080p wide view panel. However, the 15-inch laptop has a 60Hz screen, while the 17-inch has a 120Hz screen. So in terms of specs, both laptops are very similar, with the exception of the refresh rates and SSDs. The overall design is also basically the same. The lids are a black brushed metal, and feature the MSI logo, while the insides are a grey brushed plastic with SteelSeries RGB keyboards. Underneath, there are similar air intakes, which exhaust air out the back from both the left and right corners. In terms of I.O., starting on the left, both have a Kensington lock, gigabit Ethernet port, USB 3.0 Type-A port, HDMI port, mini display port, another USB 3.0 Type-A port, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port, and 3.5mm headphone and mic jacks, so they're both exactly the same. It's the same story on the right. Both have a USB 2.0 Type-A port, a built-in SD card reader, and the power input. In terms of screen quality, I found the 17-inch model actually reproduced colours a little better than the 15-inch. As mentioned, one of the key differences between the two laptops is that the 17-inch one has a 120Hz screen, while the 15-inch one has a 60Hz screen, but we'll see later in the benchmarks that this is mostly pointless. As the GF72 VR is a 17-inch model, it's larger and weighs around 500 grams more, and as you'd expect, it takes up more space. That extra size and weight surely means a bigger battery and better cooling, right? Both laptops have the same 41 watt hour 6-cell battery. I found this interesting and assumed that the 17 inch would have a larger one, but this wasn't the case. With the screen on half brightness, background apps disabled, and just watching YouTube, the 15 inch model lasted for 2 hours and 17 minutes, while the 17 inch lasted slightly less at 2 hours and 6 minutes. While playing The Witcher 3 at medium settings and capped to 30 FPS, the 15 inch lasted 35 minutes, while the 17 inch lasted 37 minutes. So we can see that both are fairly similar in terms of battery, which is to be expected as they have the same battery and very similar hardware specs. As for the cooling and noise, while testing with an ambient room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, at idle the 17 inch laptop was actually running a little warmer despite in theory having more cooling space. Both laptops were also producing about the same amount of noise at 37 decibels and I could hardly hear both. For comparison, here's what the temperatures at idle on the keyboard area looked like. We can see that the 15 inch laptop is just a few degrees warmer despite the internals being cooler. With the CPU and GPU both under 100% load, the temperatures rose quite a lot, with both CPUs maxing out at 95 degrees Celsius and throttling around 20%. The GPU on the 17 inch is a bit warmer too, again showing that overall it's running warmer despite in theory having more cooling space. Both laptops were also making about the same level of noise at 54 decibels. In general, we can see that the keyboard area of the 17 inch laptop is getting a bit warmer, but they're not far apart. I'll only include a few game benchmarks here, as they both have the same specs and the results aren't that far apart. All numbers shown are the averages of three runs. Starting with The Witcher 3, we can see that the 15 inch GF62 VR is a little ahead in all instances. Shadow of War is fairly similar, with the smaller GF62 VR again slightly ahead of the larger GF72 VR. The Battlefield 1 result are much closer together. At all setting levels we almost got the exact same 1% low frame rates while the averages aren't far apart. Watch Dogs 2 was also fairly close together. However interestingly in 3 of the 5 tests the larger GF72 VR came out ahead. If you're after more detailed benchmarks of either laptop check my full review videos in the description. I've said in the past that the 1060 is a great sweet spot for 1080p 60fps gaming on high settings. This is why I don't really understand the 120Hz display on the 17 inch model. To reach frame rates that high you'd either need to be playing less resource intensive games, or the games I've tested on the lower settings, and even at the lowest settings we can see that we're only able to get around 90 FPS anyway. If you're fine with that or plan on playing less demanding games that can get up to 120 FPS on a 1060, then by all means go ahead. But personally, if I was getting a 120Hz display, I'd probably be looking at a laptop with a 1070 as a minimum to better take advantage of the higher refresh rate, at least in the games that I test and play. The SSD in the 17 inch is larger and faster, offering over double the write speed compared to the SSD in the 15 inch model, and is also 
256 gig compared to 128 gig in the 15 inch. Now, perhaps the most important difference, the price. In Australia, the 15 inch GF62VR is 1916 Australian dollars at the time of recording, so about 1500 US dollars, while the 17 inch GF72VR is 2237 dollars, so around 1750 US dollars. So when it comes down to it, you're paying around 300 Australian dollars or 250 US dollars extra to get a better SSD and a larger screen at 120 hertz, which I'd argue in many cases you won't even be able to take advantage of unless you're playing less demanding games. So if you're doing that, you would need to decide if the extra $300 is worth it to you to get this, as otherwise the laptops are essentially the same in terms of specs, design, battery life, and cooling, with the only other key difference being that the 17 inch model also weighs around 500 grams more, potentially making it less portable. So which of these two MSI laptops would you guys pick? The smaller GF62VR or larger GF72VR? Personally, I'd probably go for the 15 inch, but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, and leave a like on the video if you found the information useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.